I'm Elena, and the guy filming here is Vincent. In today's episode, Vincent burns himself, Elena destroys our car, and I want a camera seat like that, so I'm on the way to front run. They make some seriously cool uh, roof racks and LED bars. So we called them and uh, told them about our plans, and they were like, hey, that sounds awesome. Let's install some of our equipment on Frida, and uh, you take photos for us. Something they do seem to have a fable for, judging by this wall in the German workshop. Okay, so what we're doing here is we'll install the roof rack. And on the roof rack we have the light bar and a smaller light bar and a tire and something really cool let me show you for the rear doors a pull out system whoops which is going to be awesome i'm really excited after the roof rack is assembled and the four light bars are attached it's time for the whole system to be lifted up and fixed to the roof i'm very excited for this moment I knew the front light bar was strong, but I was literally blown away when I first saw it live. Oh! <laughs> Herr im Himmel! More on this when we're on the trip. But now, it's back to Hamburg and back to work. Now it's time to install our second window. It's in the roof and it's also called a skylight. We won't bother you with another rep, as the steps are almost the same. What I'm not prepared for though is the burning hot metal parts that keep falling down. After the four holes are cut, it's time for the jigsaw again. It's a bit difficult here now because uh, we uh, installed this roof first, but now I can't really move the machine. So uh, I have to work around it a bit. I don't want to have to drill another hole. What you are about to witness is a prime example of professional craftsmanship. <laughs> All right. Plan B, two more holes it is, and then we have a big hole in the roof. <laughs> German Tito's. Why so cute? Hi. There is only one challenge left. The window needs a level surface, but the roof is not even. We opt for the most sophisticated of methods, brute force. This is so loud, I'm glad I'm not my neighbor. The rest is pretty straightforward. We put a 25 mm wooden frame, put some Decaseal 8936 as a sealant, install the window, put some screws, and we're done. Boom, that's it. Look at my little sister and my mom. They are the cutest. Hmm. Where are they? In the mountains. It's really beautiful. I want to take you there. We'll soon be there. How much longer? Two months maybe? In two months we'll be there. Frida! <laughs> Holy <laughs> sleep when I was doing that. Uh, I was really into my music with the noise cancelling headphones. And then <laughs> I was sitting and dancing while you're doing it like just feeling the moment and feeling myself and then I look behind me and the DHL guy is here to deliver a letter and he's like um, hi <laughs> it was so ridiculous also that became now my working shorts ooh, now we have sun coming in through the roof window yeah, we do looks pretty Ooh, cool too is. yeah She works, I'll put the sand balls on this. Fuck, the lens is dirty. Just wanted to say hi. Hi. Hmm. 
Okay, it's really straightforward. You just have to find the right holes for the different kind of uh, sandboards. All right. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Uh, uh, That was an elegant entrance. <laughs> so when the first plate is in, you grab your sandboards and uh, fix it on one side. It rocked that window, seriously. It looks okay. And when you have the correct distance for the second plate, same procedure here, couple screws and you're done. So uh, we're already done, which is awesome. And they are pink, which is... Have you already told them that if the sandboards are not pink, they tend not to work as well? Yeah. It's really obvious, isn't it? It is. Ta -da! Wow, great transition. Can I stop filming? <laughs> A beautiful transition indeed. So, um, this will be the size of our spare, which uh, we're planning to install here. That we have the sandboard, the spare tire, room for some additional water if needed for particular stretches, and then the front part of the whole roof rack would just be the 300 and something watts of solar, so that'll be very cool. Hi babes? No babes. So... Holy. Something really cool has just arrived. There's a solar panel number one and solar panel number two. It's the battery. Oh nice. <laughs> But the whole electric setup is something for another video. Summer is slowly coming to an end. Actually, it's coming really fast. And to make sure we're gonna be warm inside of the van, we're gonna put this insulation. Remember to never step on it. So we, yeah, so, 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 today we're putting the isolation. We already measured everything, the walls and the roof, and we pre-cut everything. So we're gonna do our best to glue it now. It's a good idea to use brake cleaner before gluing anything to the metal of the car. The idea in general is we have 19mm armor flex and we have 10mm armor flex. And the Sprinter has uh, some panels that are directly uh, on the outside and then there's these struts which have air uh, underneath. So uh, we use the 19mm for everything that touches the outside of the car and the 10mm over everything that has air behind. That way we hope to achieve uh, good isolation uh, without sacrificing too much interior space. We're in a bit of a rush here because this afternoon I'll meet our friend David to drive 500 kilometers to his hometown in the southwest of Germany. His family has a carpentry workshop and David, our hero, offered to help us build the interior there. We have to leave this place in a couple hours and uh, we're basically getting done 30 minutes before we have to leave. <laughs> and we'll manage, it's, it's going well. Hi! <laughs> so, oh wait, there's something playing here. So, that is what we managed to do, isolation wise. Now I have to go, I have to go for a job in Berlin, and you go meet David. Yes. They are gonna start driving down so we can start building the furniture of Frida. Um, and we'll meet you again in two or three days, eh? Yes, on Friday I'll meet them there. Now we are finally on our way. He's dropping me in the station and here's everything that we need. We have a lot of space <laughs> back there to put everything. So I'll say bye now and see you in three, see days. You in three days. In the next video, coming very soon. Mm -hmm.